Well, hello, YouTubers and computer nerds everywhere. It's time for an episode of PC Archaeology with Mike. So I'm Mike. Welcome to my channel. And as some of you may know, if you've been watching a lot of the videos on my channel, I have several hobbies. Uh, one of them is um, rendering down electronic waste to recover the gold and silver from it. And a lot of boards come through my hands. But not every board that passes through my hands immediately gets rendered down for its gold and silver. Every once in a while I'll find an interesting board and set it aside and have a look at it. Because another one of my hobbies is retro computing, which I'm getting into pretty heavy lately. I have an entire playlist on my channel dedicated to retro computing. So this is a board that came through my hands recently, and I took a look at it, and you know, I'm a sucker for any old Z80 system, and it's got a Z80A processor right here, and I'm like, oh, I wonder what this is. There are no obvious markings on the board other than over here it says HDS200 revision D serial number, and then there's no number. Uh, it actually says HDS200 rev D in two different places on the board. But that's really the only marking I can find for it. I don't recognize this board. It doesn't look like any Z80 system I played with back in the day. And I played with a lot of them. Now, looking at this board, um, we've got a Z80A. That's a 4 megahertz processor. Uh, we've got a uh, 3.6864 megahertz crystal, which seems to be driving it, which is pretty normal. That'll give you a lot of different baud rates. That can be divided by, by a lot of different uh, divisors to get different uh, baud rates. And it's still close to the top 4 megahertz of the processor, so you're not losing much performance that way. Um, what else have we got on the board? We've got a Z80 DMA chip. We've got two SCN2681A UARTs. Dual UARTs, I should say. So there should be four serial ports between these two chips. We've got uh, four 2764E PROMs. So that's, that adds up to 32K, 8, 8K by 8 on each. Now for RAM memory, we've only got two 2016s. So that's only 2K by 8 each, so 4K. There is a battery backup. Uh, 48Z02 here, which is another 2K by 8 of battery backed up RAM. So, all together here, we've got 6K of RAM, which is not very much. So, that was leading me to believe that this is not really a general purpose computer. This is maybe some kind of video terminal, is what I'm thinking, because we've got a lot of ROM, not much RAM. And we've got a lot of interconnects here. We've got three. D25 connectors over here, two male and one female, and we've got two of these telephone jack style connectors over here. And looking at the traces, it looks like uh, this do art here, the traces from this one go down to these two jacks, and the traces from this one go forward to at least two of these connectors up here. I believe it's actually these two over here they go to. Um, we've got a video controller over here. It's an STN2674B Advanced Video Display Controller, advanced for the day. We've got another 2K by 8 of RAM over here, and another 8K by 8 of EEPROM, which I'm pretty sure is a character generator. And this is just uh, display RAM over here. And this is all video circuitry over here. And there's a lot of stuff that's not installed. So there was obviously options. In fact, this, there's, a, there's a place right here that says option that's not pop populated. Um, and there's some stuff over here that wasn't installed too that seems to be connecting to this particular connector over here. So there was obviously an upgraded version of this board that did a lot of things that this board doesn't do. Uh, like I say, I believe it's a video terminal. I don't believe it's a general purpose computer. I pulled out all four of these EEPROM chips and I read them out with my EEPROM programmer. I was hoping to find some plain text in them, like a splash screen or something that would show up when the thing booted up to tell me, you know, what it is. But uh, no such luck. Um, most of it is just binary data in here. 
I did find a few plain text areas. Uh, they seem to be like prompts and they seem to be mostly related to changing terminal emulation modes, changing video modes, changing cursor modes, that kind of thing, which really leads me to believe that, yeah, this was a, a board for a video terminal, not a computer. Um, I also read out the EEPROM, the character generator EEPROM, but again, it's just all gibberish in there. There was no plain text at all in it. Um, I also pulled out the battery backed up RAM, even though it's, you know, the, the spec sheet says it's good for 11 years. I'm sure that this is way past its use by date. Um, and sure enough, it looks like the, the battery has given up the ghost and the RAM doesn't have any useful data in it. Um, so, I don't know what this came from. I would be really interested to know if there's somebody out there in the audience who looks at this and says, oh yeah, that came out of a such and such terminal. I know it's not like from a VT100 or an H19 or a few other terminals that I, I know what the innards look like. So, But this one is, is kind of confounding me. I have no idea what it's from. What I would really like to know is, you know, what what manufacturer it is, what model number it is. Hopefully I can find, you know, a spec sheet on it and figure out how to connect power to it. This is obviously a power connector over here. This is a video connector. It even says video. I'd like to know what the pinout on that is and, uh, you know, what these different connectors do and what plugs into them. You know, and maybe even fire this thing up and see if it works someday. But first I gotta, you know, figure out what it is and find us find the data on it which at the moment I'm not having any luck with so if anybody out there in the audience has any ideas you know please you know hit me up with a comment go to my blog and find my email address um, you know mdpub.com my email address is on there I don't put it on YouTube because I get too much spam um, you know send me an email from there uh, or just talk to me in the comment section and let me know, you know, what you think it is, uh, if you know exactly what it is, if you worked on this back in the day, you know, that kind of thing, where I can get data on it. I would be very appreciative. And uh, in the future, I think there will be more episodes of PC Archaeology if people find this interesting because, like I say, a lot of old boards come through my hands. Um, I've got another board out in the other room that I'll probably do another PC Archaeology on because it's kind of interesting. And uh, I'm sure there will be others in the future that will come through my hands. So, I hope you found this interesting. If so, give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, and uh, subscribe to see if those future videos which will be coming. And press the little bell icon that YouTube makes you press so you get notified when future videos come out. And thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day. Bye.